Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about what is the best year bug to own? Guys, I get this question a lot, almost on a weekly basis, where people are asking me, hey, I'm looking to get into the VW hobby, I'm looking to have a classic car like a Volkswagen bug, what is the best year to own? And uh, that could be kind of problematic to answer. So, uh, but before we get to those details, please like uh, this content, subscribe to my channel, share this content, let's get this information out there and keep this dream alive with the Volkswagens. And if you can, for the price of a cup of coffee, if you don't mind, maybe donating to this channel as well. It helps us uh, keep these videos going, keeps this content going, keeps these helpful how-tos that we put out almost on a weekly basis uh, to help you guys with your VW and to help keep this dream alive, man. So, all right, so back to the question. Uh, yeah, what is the best year Beetle to own? Uh, I gotta take a step back a lot and say, hey, you know, it's really comes down to your preference. You know, what are the characteristics that you want in a Beetle, you know, because they did subtly change throughout the years. The 50s, of course, have a lot of vintage features on them. And, uh, you know, when it comes to the dashboard, the steering wheels, the tail lights, you know, things like that. Um, and then when you got into the 60s, it got to the more memorable, uh, uh, you know, 60s era uh, period. And, uh, you know, so many people want certain things on a Beetle, whether it's a convertible or they want a rag top or they want an oval window or they want the small tail lights or but they want maybe a, a 1600 motor or a 1500 motor, they want a 12 volt system, you know, things like that. And it really uh, comes down to your preference. But I will say the consensus over the basically the spectrum of the Volkswagen community and the collector car market in general, 67 Beetle seems to always pop up. And why does it pop up? Well, because uh, that was a, it's the one year only Beetle and it's, the, and I've spoken about this, this car a lot. And uh, if you go to my friend's channel, uh, Eric Shoemaker's channel, 1967beetle.com, you get to see, uh, you know, some more information about 67. Um, it is the one year only Beetle. It's the first year 12 volt system, 1500 motor, powerful motor, uh, for the time. And, uh, it's got the 12 volt and it's got the, it's last year, the hard, uh, the hard dashboard, it's last year, the low back seats. So you have kind of best of both worlds. You have a, the old look and you still have the vintage bumpers on it, the, the, you know, the towel bar bumpers. After that, they went to the straight, big, bulky bumper. So you have, you know, the old look, but you have like updated technology, so to speak. Okay, so, and, and before they even started to get a little more complex with emissions and things like that and adding things to the engine compartment. So the engine compartment is still very simple to work on. The car in general is still very simple to work on. Uh, and it's before the emissions, the government regulations, uh, but it's old look, 12 volt system, 1500 motor. It's got good pep on the road. The handle's great. It's got that one, that one year, it's got some great fancy stuff to it that everybody seems to like. It's got best of everything almost. So um, 67 seems to always come back. But here's the thing. A lot of people say, hey, look, uh, 65 was the best year or 64 was the best year or, you know, hey, 60 was the best year. And they tell this to me because they were born in those years. So <laughs> a lot of people think that the years that they were born, those are the best years of the Beetle. Uh, but here's the great thing about the bug is that you can pretty much transform it to your liking. So even though they had subtle changes throughout the years, the car is almost interchangeable within years. So you could put certain features on your Beetle to your liking. Will you devalue the car to some degree? You might, uh, but again, it, it comes down to you. Are you happy? Do you, you know, many people want, you know, a ragtop sunroof. Yeah, so ragtops were 63 and earlier only. And many people believe 63 was the best year because it's the last year of the smaller windows. Uh, last year, kind of the real bug look when it comes to the rear deck lid, the license light housing. It's the last year of the ragtop sunroof, that sort of thing. Uh, so, you know, but you can say you like 63, you like ragtop, but you like 67 motor and power and electrics. You can convert the car to 12 volt and you could put the 67 motor in, into a 63 and then you almost have what, you know, you have basically what you want. So. There's really not one great year. I mean, I love the 50s Beatles. I love 53, 4, 5. You know, those, that 55 and earlier, uh, you know, realm is great. I love the way those doors close on a 55 and earlier Beetle. It's like an old refrigerator. And it's got a click clack sound. And the doors, you can feel, have such weight to them and such, you know, density to them. That, uh, you know, those are great years. I love those years. But yet, they're a little slower. You know, the 25 or 36 horsepower. 
and uh, so they don't really get up on the highway like you would want them to. Yes, you can put in a later motor, but then you kind of devalue the car to some degree. So you got to kind of balance and, and really see, you know, what you want to do. Uh, you know, the great thing I like to tell people is, you know, do what you want with the car, but just make sure when it comes time to sell it, you can go back to its original state because most buyers that are going to come to you to buy the car are going to, you know, ask you, you know, is it original? Do you have the original motor? Is everything back to original? That sort of thing. Okay, so... But if you check out like, collectorcarmarket.com, I like going to that website and seeing the values of cars, you'll see 67 is actually valued a little more than say even a 63, 4, 5, or 6 Beetle, uh, which is pretty remarkable. So that 67 year is very popular and, and I think the collector car market knows that. Uh, that's why they're, they're, they're very desirable and sought after. But the great thing about the, the 67 as well is that there's still plenty of them out there. Uh, I still see 67s crossing the auction blocks and the classifieds, Facebook, you know, Craigslist, the Samba. They're still for sale. And the other great thing about 67 is still, I know it's a one year only car, but the parts are readily available, which is nice. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's, it's really actually is a pretty damn good year. And it's fun. You can get in the car, you can get up on the highway with it. And it's got that old look that people still admire and still remember about the old Beetle. Uh, so 67 is a great year, but um, I mean, I, I personally, I kind of like them all. I mean, I like each year to some degree for each certain reason, you know, like I like 66 as well, because it's the one year motor of the 1300 here in the States. And uh, last year, the Porsche headlight, that sort of thing. So, you know, it, it all comes down to your preference, you know, so uh, I hope you found this video informative. And uh, if you have any uh, comments or suggestions, or you got any advice for the VW community out there, leave it in the uh, comment section below. And again, please be sure to subscribe and share this content and keep this content rolling out of my channel. All right, guys, take care.